here at the fourth overall pick take Marvin Harrison. Maybe they take a Malik Neighbors or a Roma Dunze. I don't think so. I think Harrison's going to be the top receiver pick in the draft for a lot of different reasons, a lot of good reasons. I think the guy's a great prospect just on what I've seen so far. The key here is just Marvin Harrison. He is the favorite to go number four in Arizona. He would he'd make Trey McBride more like the tight end three or four as opposed to an argument for number one, you know, if, the, if he goes there. I saw that uh, on uh, one of the other sites that does best ball drafts uh, already right now, the sickos are taking him like as wide receiver 11 wide receiver 12 ish. That's that. That is pretty wild, man. It's aggressive, but his college resume is ridiculous. And boy, he would be an alpha. Right. I mean, right away in Arizona, he could leave. He'll be leaving, leaving targets with, with Hollywood Brown likely gone, too. So and Kyler Murray, another year removed from knee surgery. So, yeah, Arizona, this is a big it looks like a very different wide receiver core next next year. And then pr- Trey McBride could be even better. So it's a it's a good setup of the fast pace. Harrison, Murray and uh, McBride. Uh, uh Connor probably will return to the cheapish contract. If the games he's healthy, he'll be a fantasy monster. So, um, yeah, for a team picking this early in the draft, uh, they're they're have an awful lot of nice fantasy components. Assuming Harrison ends up there, I, I'd love if he doesn't. If uh, as a Niner fan, man, I mean Harrison's going to be a nightmare for the next decade in that division. So I've got three games in of Marvin Harrison so far. So the the metrics and result reception perception wise, they're not necessarily that's not going to be indicative of over a full sample, but. If the three game success rate versus press I charted for Marvin Harrison holds up, it would clear the highest I've charted of the last four draft classes by a lot. Like it would lead that class by a lot. And there's been obviously a lot of great wideouts that have come into the league uh, the last four years. So you can imagine uh, what, a, a, what an exceptional profile we're potentially looking at here with Marvin Harrison.